Hi everyone, and welcome to White Skies Wisdom. This is a general energies reading for the star sign of Taurus for July 2019. Welcome back everybody and welcome all my new subscribers. So when I did your yearly Taurus, the King, um, the King of Pentacles popped up. This is us sitting in all our glory. This is us sitting on our throne with our worldly possessions all around us. Uh, beautiful, beautiful house, beautiful garden, gorgeous clothes, lots of food in the fridge. If you don't have that at the moment or you feel this is lacking, this is what's very much on your mind this month of July. Okay, so we'll have a look at abundance because it's all about the pentacles this month. And we'll see what we've got. Okay, advice for the star sign of Taurus, please, for July 2019. July 2019. There she is. Okay, donations, tithing and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organisations and people who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money or other resources you donate will ensure your positive energy multiplies. Yes, so if you've had lots of people helping you out or you feel like you wouldn't mind giving back to somebody that's been in your life this month, it's very much uh, important to do so. It's not just financial um, donations here, it's um, time and supplies, that sort of thing. Other resources, helping somebody out when they need it, uh, it's going to be um, very important. Okay, so we're also going to have a look at your health, Taurus. And the way the universe works is if we keep hold of our funds and keep them all to ourselves, we keep our time, we don't give back when people have helped us out, um, it doesn't come back to us. It, it sort of halts the progress of the energy. So yeah, I'll have a look at the health that surrounds you. See what we've got here. Health, Taurus please, July 2019. Thank you. All right. Yes. <laughs> Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me trust my feelings as the accurate barometer of truth. Yes. Well, if you're anything like me, I get stuck in my head and then it just confuses everything. Um, it's really good to touch in with your emotions, how you feel about something, how you feel about somebody. If you feel like you need to help somebody out, do it this month. Um, if you're in a financial position to do so, it's pretty much indicated as well. But yes, hook in with those feelings. Um, try and get out of your head as much as you can uh, and just know that your feelings are right, your head's not. Okay, so we're also going to have a look at the tarot here when it comes to the King of Pentacles. Rapid, rapid change popped out. Okay. Advice, please, for the Ten of Pentacles for Taurus, July 2019. Thank you. Yes, pretty much... Backing up what I just said, really important not to hold on to things, grudges, other things from the past here. Um, people might be reaching out to, to um, ask for your help. They might be starting to recognise that you're actually quite good at what you do and want to work with you, or you're actually looking to others to actually get um, help from them. Um, two other people could be coming towards you to actually ask for your help here. But if you hold on to your finances, your time, your expertise in any way, um, this will really impact it in a negative way. Okay, more advice please for Taurus. July 2019. Okay. Okay, so yeah, you've got a really good idea on how to make money. The universe is handing that to you. Uh, it could come from other sources though. It could come from other people in your life saying, hey, I really need you to help me out with this. Uh, go, with, go with how you feel, how your gut feels on it, and you, it's going to ring true here. 
Uh, you may need strength in this situation to overcome barriers that you've got on yourself, self-imposed barriers, worrying about whether you're good enough or whether you have the resources to be able to donate or give to other people, but uh, you definitely do. You could also be dealing with a Leo here in some respect. Okay, yeah, um, the more we get up in our heads, I say we because I'm a Taurus, uh, the more we get up in the heads and further away from our emotions and more confused that we could feel. Uh, if you have a look at this card though, if she just moves in any direction, no matter what it is, those bindings are going to fall away and she'll realise she's not as trapped as she actually feels she is. There still could be obstacles, slight obstacles on the path here. But yes, I think thoughts are something that's going to keep us very much in a confused state and not able to be able to help ourselves or others. So try and um, check the thoughts at the door as best you can and go with the gut. Yeah, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Must say I've been going through this myself. So yes, you might not be able to sleep very well. Um, thoughts of the past, worries of the future are really starting to impact you. Um, if people are putting their hand out to help you to take that, you know, take it, take some advice. Um, what I've been doing is cutting down the caffeine. I'm finding that's been really affecting me uh, as well. So you might want to check in with your diet and that sort of thing to see if there's any stimulants and things in your diet which are um, leading you to more confusion. Sunlight's very important at this time. I'm in the Southern Hemisphere and I'm just about to head out to the sun. Uh, also reconnecting with children, it's very important at this time. Uh, yes, so yeah, you are going to be in a position this month to be able to help people out. Um, yeah, this is a financial card, one of our cards. Um, and or in the past, the reasons you've had all these confusions and worries is you may have found that people were giving uh, financially all their time to other people and not yourself and you felt like you got the scales of justice put in your face. This could be blocking the flow of abundance at this point in time. So see if you can figure out where that's coming from and see if you can start to think about leaving that behind. Yes, because all we want is happiness. All we want is to have that... Um, a happy home, happy family, um, beautiful, sunny, happy days. Um, and, and all this is memories of times gone by that you were happy and maybe you're not in that position now, which is keeping you in that ten of, uh, sorry, the nine of swords attitude. Um, know that this is our birthright. We deserve all good. Um, it's our time in the sun, Taurus, okay? Yeah, it could have been dealing with in the past a King of Wands character here, a male fire sign. Well, this is um, us needing to step into our power when it comes to our passions. Yeah. Um, could feel like there's ties still binding you to negative situations, the, the coffee thing or the tea thing I was mentioning earlier. Uh, any sort of addictions, any sort of worries, any sort of cycles of repetitiveness that's keeping you in a negative space, you might need to just check in with that and see if you can do slight steps um, to try and get yourself out of that negative bind. Uh, this is also a card of Capricorn, so you could also be dealing with a Capricorn at this time. Uh, but also if you have a look at this card, they've got a chain around the neck which is really loose. So at any stage you can get out of the binds of this repetitive, ne negativity, <laughs> excuse me, repetitive negativity in your life. <laughs> Tongue tied then. <laughs> if you're having trouble speaking as well. <laughs> uh, yes. So this is what this is what all Taurus love, okay? This is a absolute um, self um, love absolute self-love of all kinds actually like start to check in with yourself and start to realize that you're absolutely beautiful and wonderful just the way you are uh, and start to like mirror works really good checking yourself in the mirror and telling yourself you love you or you look good or that sort of stuff is going to be really important okay yes and stepping into this queen of cups this is also a female water sign um, Pisces Cancer Scorpio uh, but also um, Keeping a lid on the emotions when they're really negative can be really important. Uh, to check in with yourself before you uh, put out any negativity into the world, if you can. Uh, you can see there yeah, that lid's quite firmly on, but she's in control of her emotions. She knows her emotions really well. Um, so yeah, this is a person that has control over their emotions, not their emotions in control of them. Okay, so I'll also have a look at the power thoughts surrounding this. What's a power thought, please, surrounding this read for Taurus, July 2019? Thank you. <laughs> yes. 
I am worth loving. I do not have to earn love. I am lovable because I exist. Others reflect the love I have for myself. So yes, that mirror work's really important. Uh, Louise Hay was a big advocate of that. If you'd like to look into her work or just, yeah, check in with yourself and see how when you go past a mirror or you look into the mirror, what are you saying to yourself about yourself? Is it love, loving thoughts or loving words or is it um, negativity? Okay, because if you don't love yourself, um, you're not going to be able to love others, okay, as, as wholly as you would like. Okay, so that's pretty important this month. So I'm also going to actually look at the Sacred Spirit reading cards here. And also love blocks. Okay, more advice please for Taurus, July 2019. Yeah, new directions. So yeah, this confusion could be coming from you starting off a whole new life here. You might be feeling like you are in between worlds, between different realities. The past might be uh, very different to what you'd want your future to be. Be patient with yourself one step at a time. I know there's people out there willing to help you on the, on the journey um, and or by you helping others on their journey, it will lead you to a, a much brighter future here. And I'll also check in with any love blocks that might be affecting you at this time. All right, love blocks affecting Taurus, please, for July 2019. <clears throat> okay, what have we got? Gratitude, yes. Appreciate all that is in, excuse me, appreciate all that is in within you and around you. Yes, so check in with yourself, start to love yourself, but also appreciate all the bounty and beauty around you. Those beautiful friends, that coincidence, that lovely person that might pay for your coffee or something, you know, they pay forward thing, anything. Do it yourself. Pay for the person's coffee in front. Maybe not coffee. <laughs> but be, be very grateful for everything around you. You know, the air in your lungs, the, the feel of the wind on your, brick, on, your, on your skin. Okay, Taurus, so I hope that helped. So if you'd like to like, subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post. I'd just like to say thank you very much and bye for now.